So we already graphed using the slope and the y-intercept. This is basically going to be the same kind of thing, only you're not starting at the y-intercept, you're starting at some random point they give you. So we want to graph the line that has a slope of 3, passes through the point 2, negative 1. Have to plot the point 2, negative 1 first. So 2, negative 1 would be down here. My slope is 3, which we'll write as 3 over 1. And so that means from that point, we go up 3 and over 1. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Now, if you were too close to keep going on the top, just keep in mind that if you change both of your signs, that you could go down 3 and back 1, and you can see that it still lines up in that same line if I could draw straight. So on occasion, you'll be too close to the top or the bottom, and you'll have to basically just do the opposite directions to get it on there. So number 17, we want to graph the line with the slope of 3 fourths that passes through the point negative 4, 3. So plotting my point negative 4, 3. Back forward up 3, and then my slope is 3 fourths, so from that point I'm going to go 3, up 3 and to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hey, I end up right on that 6. <laughs> and since I only need 2 points, I'll just draw my line there. Number 18, we want to graph the line with the slope of negative 1 that passes through the point 3, negative 2. So 3, negative 2 would be right there. It says my slope is negative 1, so from that point I'm going to go down 1 to the right 1. Down 1 to the right 1. A couple dots so I can draw a little straighter. And my line looks like that. That should be the next six things there in the graphing section. See if you have any of those. Those hopefully should be...